Hi, Sarah and Lucas from CodeHS. We know it's likely that your classroom setup has changed in recent weeks, and because you won't be in the classroom, uh, you will have less access to some of the supports you were receiving before. We want to make sure that you know the different ways CodeHS can help you do the things you were doing in the classroom. So let's go ahead and take a look at your student homepage. The first thing you'll notice is the uh, messages functionality. This is any message or comment or conversation between you and your teacher. So this is where you'll see grades on assignments, uh, things that the teacher has returned back to you, the teacher's answers to any conversation that you have asked them. Um, so below that, you'll see other things like your past due assignments. So this is anything that you need to catch up on your upcoming due dates or your due soon material. These are things that you'll need to continue to work on to complete on time, as well as the resume option, which takes you to the most recent lesson that you have uh, accessed. Back up at the top of the page, on the left-hand side, you'll see a few other helpful links. The first one is due dates. That's exactly what it sounds like. That's a comprehensive list of all of the due dates that your teacher has set. The next is My Notes. That's where you can go to see a complete list of all the notes that you've taken on any CodeHS video. We'll talk in just a minute on how to actually take notes on a video. And finally, your My Assignments tab. This is something that you should be familiar with and is what takes you to your actual curriculum flow. Let's go ahead and take a look at your My Assignments. The first thing you'll see on your My Assignments page is on the right-hand side, you'll see the CodeHS color code. Uh, the dark gray color is something that you haven't opened to this point. So work you haven't completed, haven't started. Uh, that yellow is something that you've started but not completed. So maybe you didn't complete the quiz or you haven't uh, completed the coding activity, whatever it may be. That light green color is something that's finalized. So you have completed it, you've passed the test cases, um, and it's to the teacher, but the teacher hasn't graded it or put it in the grade book yet. Um, that pink color is something that you have completed, you sent to the teacher, and the teacher has returned to you. Uh, there's probably a comment saying what needs to be worked on or what needs to be changed. Um, this is not in the grade book yet, and you have another chance to complete that activity. Uh, that red maroon color is something that once uh, the teacher has submitted it back to you to review and you have submitted back to the teacher uh, two or more times. So that'll show to the teacher and you'll know that the teacher uh, needs to get back to you. And then that dark green color is something that's finalized. This is in the grade book. You've completed everything you need to do. The teacher's completed everything that they need to do. Um, and there's no further work that's needed. So now, um, as I said, let's go ahead and take a look at how to take notes on a video. When you load any CodeHS video, on the lower right-hand side, you'll see a button that says Take Notes. When this opens, you'll see a white bar on the right-hand side. Here you can take notes, you can edit the text format uh, to show different code, to bold specific things, use whatever, um, you know, kind of editing you might need. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the resources in the editor. In your classroom, you have classmates and a teacher to help you when you're stuck. Since we're in a virtual classroom, let's talk about some of the ways you can lean on CodeHS for some of these resources. If you ever want to reference what the assignment was, you can click this assignment tab and you'll see the directions for each activity. Back to the Run Code tab. Running through your code is often the best way to find your errors, but sometimes it can be difficult to know where you're getting stuck. If you're working through activities with Carol or Tracy, using the Step Through can help move through your code one by one to find your error. Next is the Test Cases tab. No matter what course you're in, test cases are always a great way to see where you're making a mistake and why your code might not be submitting to your teacher. 
The next helpful tab is the Docs tab. The Docs tab is a great reference for all of the terms you've learned so far. It's also a great place to double check that your syntax and spelling are correct. Now let's look at the More tab. The first important resource is the Slides tab. This page will bring you directly to the slides of the video that you watched before starting this activity. If you scroll down, you're also able to see the notes that you took on the video as Lucas showed before. Also in your More tab, you can find the history of all the code that you've written so far. You can scroll through each timestamp and see what code you've written earlier. If you think you were on a better path before and you might have gotten lost, you're able to click here to reset your code to what it was before. And finally, if you think you've exhausted all of your options and you can't seem to figure out how to debug your code, we have this conversation tab. This is a tab where you can reach out directly to your teacher and ask a question about your code. This question will then be populated on your teacher's homepage and they can answer it for you. Another good way to get in touch with your teacher and let them know what your code looks like is by taking the URL and sending it to them as a link where they will be able to directly see your code. If you had written in this conversation tab and your teacher responds, that will show up right on your homepage for you. While you're waiting for your teacher to respond, you have a couple options of activities that you can complete. For example, we have practice up at the top which is a lot of practice questions that you can do on your own without being assigned them. And we also have the sandbox where you can practice what you've learned and create programs on your own. We hope that those tools were useful for you. Um, we know that these are unprecedented times with new learning environments for everyone. And we here at CodeHS just want to make sure that you are aware of all the tools available to you so that you can continue to learn computer science. We wish you all the best and have a great day.